Are you taking milk thistle and wondering what some of the benefits are? Maybe you're just hearing about milk thistle the first time and want to know if it's a good thing to take, what some of the benefits of milk thistle might be. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at the top three benefits of milk thistle, its effect on liver, blood sugar, and cancer. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health. Whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis, I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health. So if you like this kind of information on lab tests, nutrition, herbs, et cetera, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at the top three benefits of milk thistle. So in this video, we're going to look at the top three milk thistle benefits. Milk thistle, if you don't know, is a plant that has a long history of being used for medicinal purposes. While it's very safe and effective, its use still seems to be fairly limited. So in this video, I want to highlight some of the benefits of milk thistle. because I think it is a very useful herb with little risk or downside. So here are the top three potential benefits of milk thistle. Number one has to do with liver support. Milk thistle is most well known for its support to the liver and benefits to the liver. It contains a molecule called silymarin, which has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects and probably even helps protect the liver from damage. There's good evidence on milk thistle helping protect against various liver conditions like hepatitis, fatty liver, and even cirrhosis. Milk thistle does that by enhancing the recycling and utilization of something known as glutathione. Glutathione is one of the main antioxidants in detoxification molecules in our bodies. So it's thought to work through its role in enhancing glutathione utilization, but also seems to have independent effects outside of glutathione. Milk thistle is an antioxidant in and of itself independent of glutathione and also protects cell membranes from toxins that might damage the cell membranes of liver cells or other cells in the body. It can scavenge and kind of mop up free radicals that are floating around either from toxins or other sources. Studies have shown that milk thistle also increases superoxide dismutase, glutathione, and glutathione peroxidase. Again, these are all antioxidant molecules. Along the lines of liver support, it also has an anti-inflammatory and antifibrotic effect, which is really important in terms of ongoing damage to the liver, which can lead to fibrosis of the liver, also known as cirrhosis. So that's the benefits in terms of the liver. The second benefit of milk thistle is its effect on diabetes and blood sugar. There's good research and evidence suggesting milk thistle has a positive effect on lowering blood sugar in people with diabetes and blood sugar issues. It likely helps the blood sugar levels through improving insulin sensitivity. There's a specific molecule in milk thistle that acts like a PPAR gamma agonist which is similar to how some medications used for diabetes called thiazolidine diones work. If you want more information on some of this, there will be links in the description to some of the research papers that go into more detail on these topics. The last benefit of milk thistle has to do with cancer prevention. Some studies have suggested that milk thistle may have an anti-cancer effect. It may be effective in both preventing growth and spread of certain types of cancer cells. It seems to exert this effect by protecting healthy cells when on chemotherapy and pushing malignant cells into programmed cell death called apoptosis. While this sounds very promising, it's important to note that this research is fairly limited and more research is needed to fully understand what's going on with milk thistle in its anti-cancer properties. It's equally possible that taking milk thistle can render your chemotherapy less effective and cause more harm than good. So it's important to discuss this with your provider who has knowledge of milk thistle and its effects on cancer so they can make sure it's going to be beneficial for you in the chemotherapy that you're on. The same is true for other areas of using milk thistle on herbs in conjunction with medications. I use milk thistle in my practice fairly regularly, and I think it could be helpful, but taking milk thistle shouldn't be 
used as a substitute for an integrated medical treatment plan. So how'd I do? Did that help you better understand some of the benefits of milk thistle? Do you have other questions on where milk thistle might benefit you? Or maybe you have some other questions on milk thistle. Drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your questions or at least try to. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.